Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christy with Van On Company. It's April, uh, Monday, April 24th. I'm going to go over the markets with you. A little bit of a stronger start here in corn and uh, soybeans to start off the week, uh, though you weren't able to really catch that bid into the wheat market. So it came out on Friday after the close. Aggressive sellers once again manage money, near record short holdings in corn, near record short holdings in wheat. Uh, aggressively short here in soybeans. Typically, they aren't short very long. Uh, so they have been selling these markets, and it's really the most bearish aspect, probably. To these markets but uh, weather is friendly corn though it's not really showing all that much corn only able to close up about two cents uh, the five day the seven day both extremely wet for the corn belt uh, eight to four uh, eight to 14 day forecast along with the six to ten day forecast is both uh, cold and wet for a majority of the corn belt so uh, we are behind last year's pace but staying up with our average pace as far as planting goes we'll get an update there that should give us some reason to find a little bit of support as long as those continue to stay wet into these markets. Uh, so being the biggest buyer here of the day, up seven to 10 cents. US dollar a bit lower, that should help out these grade markets and try and drum up some business to get going. Export sales or inspections, I should say, came out today, friendly for both corn and wheat and beans actually. So some friendly news around this market is just really struggling to get up and going. Wheat market down five on Minneapolis, Chicago, Kansas City down two to three cents. So I'm um, just thinking maybe you got that wheat planted before. Uh, uh, not running into any issues into the northern uh, North Dakota, South Dakota, and you know even parts of Minnesota hasn't been all that bad. It's really been the big I states that have been really cold, really wet, um, and that's the area that should stay wet as well. So over into the meat markets a little bit of a negative cattle on feed last friday that came through into the cattle market slightly lower about a buck 50 lower both live cattle feeder cattle lean hogs able to rally just slightly up about 85 cents there then those outside markets biggest movers of the day like i said us dollar a bit lower down anywhere from 80 to 90 cents uh dow market up over 200 points on some optimism here uh coming in with uh trying to get healthcare regenerated and then also coming in here and some executive actions as well uh, and then that uh, crude market slightly lower as it's really been on a tailspin lately. Uh, moving forward, what you're going to be watching just how that planting progress comes out this afternoon and then see if those forecasts remain wet and cold. I do have to close with the disclaimer, trading futures and options involves risk loss and may not be suitable for all producers. Have a great day.